Good morning everybody, how is all going? I got my darling wife here, is going to be helping me again today. Now, we've got a uh, bit of a load on here with the fridges and freezers and the iPad which isn't taking much. Um, let's just quickly uh, yeah, go into here, across to here, across to VE Direct. Okay, so you can see the, the battery volts are at 13.22. They're basically full. There's no current going into the batteries because the batteries are full. Okay, so the uh, that's on the um, battery monitor. Okay, so basically uh, the solar panel. Wait for it to load. Basically the solar panel, there's uh, Is that the right? That's the wrong, I'm on the wrong solar panels. I've actually just logged into the solar panels for the house, the Victron for the house. Um, try that one, 130. There we go, that's better. Okay, don't log into the house, Chris. Alright, so you can see well, both the, the fridge and the freezer um, is using 7 amps. But again, this is not about output. This is about volts and what happens to solar panels when it's shaded. I state that again because a couple of people just oh the panels weren't this the panels weren't that they didn't panels didn't have to be in exactly the same position to show you what happens to a mono when you shade it and what happens to a split cell when you shade it okay um angle to the sun didn't matter in that particular test uh next week on wednesday if the weather's fine I am going up to Perth and we're going to be doing some more testing with some bigger panels. Alright, so let's uh, come around the corner here, Ziggy. Alright, so yesterday there's the uh, split cell panel up there and the sun's, it's morning. What's the time, love? Half past nine in the morning. So basically what we're going to see now, all right, we know if you shade half of this panel, it still works great, okay? If you shade half of this panel, can you just hold that? That's roughly half, okay? The panel vaults still go really, really good, all right? Now what I want to know is, if we shade it diagonally and include more than half the panel, okay, so we've got a bit of a diagonal shade happening there. Um, I mean polystyrene's not really big enough, but anyway, let's see what happens to the vaults now. What do you think of that? All right, so that's the diagonal shade. So let's about half, Ziggy, so three and three, because there's six cells up. Okay, so now we've got it shaded like that. And you can do this test yourself on a mono panel and see what happens, okay? They die. All right. The vaults are still really good. All right. It is early in the morning, but 
um, the volts are higher than the battery and that's awesome so I'm still putting power into the panel so what I want you to do now Ziggy okay is hold it like that and when I go and start recording I just want you to slowly slide it all the way across like this to simulate shade a shady tree or something okay so if you can slide it across like a shady tree you went a bit quick for the the um, battery the the, the uh, Victron charge controller to catch up can you just do it again now you can go back okay slide it across again we're simulating a a, a tree or a chimney on your roof and she's going more slower now so the thing can catch up stop there all right so that's the lowest point so let's see where that shade is yeah that's roughly dead in the middle right on the bus bar okay if you can just slowly move it again so that's a third that covers about a third of the panel okay that thing so if you shade them directly in the middle stop there all right let's see where it's shaded now all right okay so if you get shade directly on this middle bus bar on both panels okay you're going to lose power but if you get crossways shade okay there we go we've got crossways shade diagonal shade the vaults are pretty pretty good pretty good now we do only have the two angle fridges on right now and yes once their motors start that is all they use about three amps for two fridges they're in these new angles are incredibly efficient um, and that panel is way overkill for this trailer so shading like that works pretty well let's do it that way shading like that all right so yesterday we had half the panel shaded and it worked really really well as well so and of course if we just shade half the panel this way the vaults are still up nice and high okay So you can reproduce this test on your mono panel um, and you can see what happens. Basically it dies, okay? Any sort of shading on it at all on your, your standard mono panels just die. All right, thank you Ziggy for your help today. Absolutely great. I couldn't have done it without you. So, 
Um, doesn't matter how you shade it, because um, shade moves during the day as the, as the, uh, the earth spins, okay, which gives the illusion of the sun moving across, uh, in the sky. But as the earth spins and the angle of the sun gets different and your shade moves across your panel, if you shade um, a third of the solar panel right on this middle bus bar, um, your panel will stop producing for a little while. Um, but not all your panels are going to be doing that. Um, so are they still worth getting? Yeah, like I've got no shade on my house roof at all. And I've got panels at all sorts of angles to, to catch the, the, the sun as the earth spins. Um, so I've got constant power all day. With a camper trailer, okay, uh, where you've only got one solar panel and it's facing one way and you might get shade on it then the split cells are the only way same as a caravan if you've got an air conditioner sitting on the roof of your caravan okay and as the sun moves the shade of that air conditioner moves uh, split cells uh, would be the best for that if you've got a, a shaded roof and you've got a chimney or a satellite dish or um, a tree that is moving across your panels during the day then these panels would be well and truly uh, worth putting up there all right so that was just a another quick video demonstration now i will be at e-solar uh, next Wednesday with the camper trailer set up uh, basically so we can use the charge controller and we will be testing some of Silvio's newer panel, new, new, new solar panels we'll be testing a uh, split cell 380 watt panel uh, and we'll be testing some monos and a lot of other things so this uh, these panels really surprised me and they surprised Silvio because it's very rarely do solar panels actually do what the wholesalers say they will because they test them in a lab. I'm not a lab. I like to test things in the real world. I like to test things that I don't care about the angles because we both panels yesterday were both in the sun and we were testing for what shading does to the vaults. Like I said at the start of the video, it's all about vaults and shading. And some people didn't get that. And they're talking about watts output and all that. Well, if I wanted to know what the panels would do, I would have had huge loads on them. And uh, yeah, and shading still would have killed the mono. Okay. All right, that's it. That's a bit of an update video, some different types of shading. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still very happy with it. I'm still very pleased. It far outperforms um, anything, a, uh, any mono panel there is, I reckon. Far outperforms it. <laughs>